How to make an abootable USB stick for Server 8, regularitguy.com. I get asked this question a lot, thought I'd quickly record a screencast on how to make a bootable USB stick. Obviously, you've already inserted it inside your computer at this point in time. Pull up your trusty disk part utility with administrative rights. And very important, list off all available disks. Note that disk number two is the USB stick because it is the smallest. Once you've selected it with select disk number two, hit clean. Warning, you've just lost all your information on that particular disk. Hopefully you did your check ahead of time to make sure you chose the right one. Create a par primary partition. Go ahead and mark it as active. And then do a format. I'm using the file system of NTFS because it's the standard one that I use for all of my bootable USB sticks. Don't forget the quick switch at the end of it. Otherwise, you'll be waiting here for a good couple of minutes until it finishes. This should wrap up in about, oh, I don't know, five, ten seconds or so. Once that's done, type in exit, and then find your favorite ISO file. In this case, I've already downloaded the uh, Server 8 preview file that you can download from the Microsoft.com website. And I'm just going to go in with the consumer preview version of Windows 8, directly mount it as if it was a CD-ROM. And then go through and highlight all the files in question. Do a right mouse click, send to, and dump it over to my removable disk, which I just wiped clean, created, and then made bootable with the last couple of steps with this part. Now, I've sped up this copy process because I'm sure you guys don't want to watch the uh, four gigs and change where the files come across, so obviously it's not really this fast. Now, I mentioned this can work with any modern Microsoft OS ISO file. So uh, you can download the Consumer Preview version 8. You can download and use Windows 7 or Server 2008 R2. Or you can even use the customizable tool called the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit to make your own ISO file based on one of the other ones and including and injecting the additional drivers that are going to be required for your target uh, servers and workstations you're going to be deploying. So I'll do a video on that a little bit later on. I will make note as well, kind of a cool thing I found out with Consumer Preview, there is a pause button that's up there that you can press, and you can actually remove the disk, do something with it, come back with it, and then hit the unpause button, and it will continue from where it left off. That's actually kind of cool. So as this guy wraps up, it just has to flush the cache, and then when the dialog disappears, you've got yourself a bootable USB stick. Plain and simple. Next up is simply a matter of uh, verifying the files are there, which they are, and then choosing the target oper the uh, target workstation in question, booting into the BIOS to make sure that you know how to boot off of a USB stick, plug this puppy in, and then you're off to the races. Pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it. It's very simple, concise. I've got a blog post about this up at regularitguy.com in case you're interested. And if you have any other suggestions on some other quick little how-to videos that I should record, leave me a comment on the video or back on the blog. Have a great day.